Hi friends, Saravir, welcome back to my channel. In our last couple of tutorials, we have learned about uh, table based record data type, then we have learned about cursor based record data type. Today, we are going to learn about user defined record data type, means you can define your own data type actually. How you know we have you know number data type, we have varchar data type, we have date data type. So, here we have flexibility that we will be creating our own data type and we will be using this data type in our to declare the variable actually okay so that is what uh, we are going to learn today that how we can create our own data type and we will be using our own data type to declare the variable all right and we will be using that variable in our uh, the, in our query and we will get the result according to that okay so here we will be learning about how to declare on how to create your own data type okay so let's see that so for that I have written an example here that will be you know that will uh, make your concept clear about the uh, user defined data type actually okay so for that purpose see so here in our declare is de declare section we have uh, we have this thing which is like which is actually creating a, your own data type so to create your own data type we have to write the keyword type this is the uh, you know reserved keyword so this is the type and uh, here you, you can write anything I have written my data type so this is this is the data type what you are going to create okay so here I have written my data type you can write anything as per your choice okay and then the keyword is and and the keyword record so this is how you know we write the thing and under bracket we will be writing all the flexibility what we want to give to our data type okay so this data type would be able to uh, you know store employee data as well as department data so how we will be storing employee data so as you can see i have declared variable as v underscore emp and uh, here i have used you know anchor data type if you are not knowing about anchor data type please refer my video i'll give you a link in description below go and watch that tutorial where i have explained anchor data type then you will be get to know about this thing in better way okay so here i have declared anchor data type for this v underscore emp how i have declared i have written a table name employees dot the first name is the column of employees table and percent type okay and the same i have done for department as well so here a variable called v underscore dept which is of which is from you know i'm taking from departments table and the name of the column is department underscore name of person type so this is how i have declared to anchor data type v underscore emp and v underscore dpt and i have created our own you know uh, data type v underscore my underscore data type this my underscore data type can store these two kind of var uh, variable okay so this is how i uh, our data type got created now here i'm declaring a variable the name of the variable is my underscore rec rec or you can say record so my underscore rec which is of my data type so it could be you know how do we declare uh, you know uh, the number data type uh, you know the varchar data type then you know the date data type so instead of these things i have declared my own data type here and i'm using my own data type as this way okay so hope this thing is clear to you how to declare your own data type okay so after declaring the data type what i've what i've done done here i'm just taking the value first name from employees table and department name from departments table okay into our variable so as you can see the variable name is my underscore rec my underscore rec dot vemp means dot this thing so if when i'll be taking first name from employee table it will store into my underscore rec dot vemp and when i'm taking department name from departments table it will store that value into my underscore rec dot v underscore dpt uh, you know variable so this is how we are assigning the value into our uh, these two variables from employees and departments here i have uh, i used a join to join both the tables uh, employees e and departments d where um, e dot department id is equal to d dot department id and employee id is 100 so we are taking the value for employee id is 100 and we are just you know printing the data using dbm dbms underscore output package so this is how we have created our own data type we have you know we have created a variable using the using that data type and we have used our variable here so hope this example is clear to you uh, to show you the result let me copy this code and paste in our sql workshop 
copy it and paste here control V and run this query so as you can see we got the data the first name of the employee is mark and uh, department is executive so this is how we can get the data using our uh, own record own data type actually we can create our own data type we can use the data type in our uh, query and we can get the results so hope this example and concept of user defined data type is clear to you for any confusion or doubt let me know in comment box and that's it for today thanks for watching the tutorial thank you very much